my attitude always has been, I've got the health, now use it. And do if you want to do it, do it. <laughs> but if it's not, you know, going to affect or hurt anyone else. But yeah, so I've always been quite um, positive about life and um, I try not to let things hold me back. Certainly my health doesn't hold me back. On the 24th of September 2012, that was a Monday night, um, I went swimming. And I hadn't been feeling 100%, but nothing that I wouldn't have just carried on with. I'd been to work all day. Um, I did say to the girls on the way out of work, I think I'll not bother swimming tonight, I'm too tired. That would have been a different story. But uh, so I went to the swimming club and I remember getting in and I remember the warm up and then after that I don't remember everything. I remember feeling, well not feeling terrible but just not right and a voice in my head said, Wendy you need to get out of the water. I don't remember getting out but um, basically when I got out of the water then I, I became very unwell and then went into a cardiac arrest. I was fortunate because my friend was a nurse and she knew that I had a heart condition and she was there. The paramedic first responder was just on the M3 which was very handy. So he was here within minutes of the call. Everything was in place, everybody was doing a good job and um, the defib was there early which is important. When the paramedic arrived I've now met him which was really nice. He was saying the thing that stood out to him was that the, my friend who's the nurse and uh, the swimming instructor Eddie were on the case and they were doing a really good job and um, which helped him a lot. My heart had stopped for 20 minutes um, which is quite serious because if your heart stops more than 10 minutes you're at risk of brain damage but because I'd been in the water and my body was cold um, my brain had less of a need for oxygen. CPR was happening so efficiently and so quickly and um, the, the oxygen in my body was being circulated. A defib machine is, is essential really. Um, if someone, if their heart has stopped, um, a defib machine is the thing that's going to restart it if they're in the right rhythm for that to happen. But that is essential, the sooner a defib machine comes, the better. The important thing is not to be afraid of the defibrillator. I think you need to be confident that it will be okay and that what you're doing is not going to harm this person, but it's going to help them.